I think we have all collectively decided that corp core is going to be the biggest trend of 2024 or at least the biggest trend of the beginning of 2024. Today I'm going to show you how I would style some corp core outfits, starting with the one that I'm wearing. I would describe this first outfit as the coquettification of corp core. For the belt, I actually used two ties and just tied them together in the back. For my accessories, I'm wearing these nylon socks and my trusty pointy-toed bow shoes that are by Steve Madden. For the rest of the outfit, I would probably go with a bougie fur coat. These have been super in. I actually just got this the other day at a consignment shop and she was not cheap. I would probably just style it with a purse that matches my shoes and the colorway of my dress. Purse is by XOXO. For most of corp core outfits, I would style them with a pointy toe mule or a sleek Italian leather pointy toe boot. Calf high and kitten heels are the trendiest boot lengths and heel sizes. As someone who has never worked an office job a day in their life, I'm gonna show you how I would style a corp core outfit. First, I'm gonna start off with some pantyhose. These are like, so early 2000 secretary vibes. And then next I'm gonna go in with some thigh high socks. Knee highs are really having their moment right now, but I think thigh highs are gonna come back. But for this look, I'm gonna take the thigh highs and just scrunch them down. So they are knee highs, but they still have that scrunchy look. For my bottoms, I have these shorts. They are from Express in the early 2000s. They're like a business pant, but make it a short. And for tops, I have this very cute mock neck sweater. It's like, a, I think cashmere. And then this has gotta be like Angora fur because it's so freaking soft. This is the look. This is how the shorts are. Very cute. Next, we're gonna go shoes. For the shoes here, I included the little pop of red. So these are Luchini heels pointy. They're on the website. Luchini is a very underrated brand. They make like really cool, unique shoes. And it's like in a pretty good price range as well. So I would say our bottom half of the outfit is now venturing into like the secretary who went out with the boss for drinks and then it didn't change before she came to work. See, these are like suede with like some faux leather. They're so cute. I wear this belt all the time because it just like breaks up the boringness of down here. For my bag, I'm going with this Vivian Westwood. I think it really matches the shoes. One of my favorite things to do to make a cute purse cuter is to accessorize it. So kind of like that one girl on TikTok, she decorated her bathroom and keyboards. I'm just gonna take these very core core accessories, some headphones, a mouse, a little charger, and then I have a carabiner, and I'm just gonna put them on my bag. Because the core core aesthetic makes me think of like the early like Apple ads and stuff, but since all of that stuff is white, it doesn't really match my outfit, so I went with this black. I was seeing the vision. <laughs> So next, there's this designer, Mark Gong Shanghai, and if you look at their spring 2024 collection, they did a lot of literal court core interpretations. To finalize our outfit, you know, we're gonna have a magazine, and it matches, of course, a little pop of red. And then I'm gonna have like a little pin to go along with my microphone. Very court core vibes. And then to top it all off, you're gonna be that girl walking around with a literal coffee mug. You gotta let me know in the comments, am I getting an HR violation today or what? So this is the base for my little corporate inspired outfit. And it's very simple. You probably have literally the exact same thing at home right now. I stole my boyfriend's white button up. I'm wearing these cute little black flared pinstripe trousers. And I've got these little red Vince Camuto boots. So I bought this very hot and sexy faux leather vest the other day and she's giving shape. So this is getting layered on top. 
look at the back of this i was like digging through the bins the other day as i often do and i found this adorable little like tie thing but it's like a mini tie so that's definitely a necessary inclusion for my little corp core fit oh my god love that i'm throwing in this red bag for a little pop of color to match the boots and the tie of course so this is the outfit I love how this shirt is like oversized, but the vest snatches my waist. It's such a fun look and you could totally copy this and you probably should if you want to look hot. I think one of the staple pieces for a corp core wardrobe is mini skirts. This one is BCBG and I styled this one with a cropped sweater vest that I got at like a Buffalo Exchange. It's by a brand called local European. To tie in the color of the top and to make it more corporate, I added this long wrap coat that I thrifted a really long time ago. The bag says Jaeger. A wrap coat like this is a really good staple to have for a corp core wardrobe because it just goes with everything and it just elevates every single look. It's also really warm if you live in a cold place like me. I styled this Bisu Bisu skirt with this sweater vest like crop top. For me, I think that the shape is really giving corporate, but obviously since it's cropped, it's not actually appropriate for corporate wear. This is just like to wear all the time, not just like for work. And if you did want to make it work appropriate, I would just opt for like a long high neck tank top, one that covers your midriff, but I'm a midriff girly, so I'm always going to show mine. For a jacket, I paired it with the Cynthia Steffi 2008 kind of military corp core jacket that is actually my mom's from 2008. If I had to style a midi skirt for a corporate core, I would go with this. It's an early 2000s Issey Miyake moon print skirt. It's not like your typical office wear, but it sticks to that neutral color palette. So here I paired it with a vintage leather shoulder bag and some Manolo heels. I would also add like a blazer or a coat over for modesty sake. This is gonna be another fit where the base for layering is super simple. We've got a white turtleneck, black pinstripe flare pants, and our little red Vince Camuto boots. I am layering a skirt on top of these pants. To go with the skirt, I've got a little belt, or a big belt, I should say. Honestly, I think it's a pretty chunky belt. That's what I like about it. And the saga of me stealing my boyfriend's clothes continues because I totally stole this red blazer from him. But yeah, this is the look. Add a little simple black bag. I feel like you might catch me on the streets of New York City in this outfit. I'm a huge fan of a butt detail, so when I went to go style this skirt, I definitely wanted to make it the focal point of the outfit, but I thought that it was also perfect to pair it with this vest. So I guess the focal point is just that the back looks really good. The vest I got on Poshmark, uh, the brand is Kill City and the skirt is by Fire Los Angeles. I thrifted this one. If you're wanting the skirt to be the focal point of your outfit and just to have all the other pieces of your outfit be kind of simple yet elevated, you can go with a cropped sweater, something with a detail like off the shoulder, turtleneck with an open back, or this one that has shoulder pads and is structured kind of like a sweater vest, but obviously it's a little bit sexier than a sweater vest. I've also been styling these flared skirts as dresses because I think that they give this very like coquettified cork core look and it's just something unique. I always see these ones when I go to the thrift store. This one is by Dress Barn and this one is by Anne Klein. If the tie belt for you is too much, I also styled this one with a belt. And of course I added a fake fur jacket. For accessories, I think it's perfect to have just pretty much neutral tones and a pop of red is always fun. For something a bit busier, I do like this 
saddle colored medium sized purse. I think this one's really chic. I just thrifted this one the other day. I think this one is a really good colorway for core core and I also like that it's a little bit different than just wearing a plain purse. Plaid and stripes are going to be huge for this trend like pinstripes and plaid jackets, plaid scarves, things like that. For this look, we wanted to incorporate a pop of red. So I picked this blouse. It's like a good neutral color. And then with it, I paired just some classic black trousers. These are both early 2000s era pieces. For my pop of red, I'm doing this Italian vintage purse. And then why stop at one when you can go with two? So for a second pop of red to tie it all together, I have these Miu Miu ballet flats. So this is like a very classic corporate core look to me. This outfit is already pretty cute, but I think I want to layer some stuff on top. I've got this little vintage BB short sleeve turtleneck top and this mesh leopard midi skirt from the 90s. I added this little handmade charm necklace and I'm bringing back this belt because this belt makes every skirt ever look 20 million times better. This outfit is very neutral right now, so I'm adding this little denim piece. This is actually like a vintage corset top. So good. It's giving like Fran Fine. I picked up this cute little vintage wool tweed blazer the other day. Pretty much everything in my wardrobe is vintage. I just love things that are old especially men with money. I have lots of trouser options up here, but the two that I styled are these hand tailor ones. I like these because I really like the color. They're also really comfortable. It's literally like wearing yoga pants. These are by Express. I paired this with a little sweater crop top because I just like the way they look together. It's a simple yet really chic outfit, and I think this is one of the easiest looks to do if you're trying to pull off a corp core look without putting too much effort into it. I think an all black look is also really chic. For this one, I picked this vest that's by the brand Kinar and these pants that are definitely from the 2000s and they're by the brand Candies. I think doing an all black look with a pop of red is a chic way to do corp core for nighttime. I could see this being like a little date night or dive bar outfit. And of course, every woman needs a suit in their life. It took me years to find this one that fits me perfectly. So if you don't have one yet, don't give up. But I loved the little details on this. And of course, the classic pinstripe pattern. Um, normally I would pin this with maybe like a cute little white button up. I just don't have one, unfortunately. And then some kitten heels. These Manolos are furry zebra print and they're actually on our website. I really want to showcase the versatility of this trend. So for this next look, I'm going to be incorporating some corporate inspired elements into like a fun going out look. Hence my little bloomer shorts. On top, it's kind of like business vibes because it's like pinstriped and we've got the little collared shirt motif. I have these incredibly long stacked thigh high socks that I'm going to put on. And then of course, these heels that my dog has chewed up. Don't worry y'all, I don't leave my shoes out anymore. And then we have this blazer, which I feel like ties everything together. And of course, you know, it's a blazer. So this probably was originally worn in a corporate environment, you know, back in like 1980 something when it was made. And I just think it's adorbs. Do I look like I work somewhere like really fun? Maybe some sort of carnival, maybe even a circus, perhaps, but like, I love that, you know? Pinterest is full of good inspiration for corp core, but my focus was definitely on Carolyn Bissett Kennedy's street style in the 90s and Giselle's style from the 2000s, specifically in the Devil Wears Prada. My list of essentials for the corp core trend, especially to create a capsule wardrobe, would be 90s and 2000s style jackets, coats, and even some faux fur, oversized and fitted vests, flattering midi skirts, nylon socks, funky tights, and bayonetta glasses or 90s style sunnies, trousers, either neutral tones or pinstriped, fitted button downs with 
pinstripes or plaid with an emphasis on buttons, cropped sweaters and fitted sweater tops, pointed toe boots or mules, classy purses in neutral tones, or pops of red and other pops of moody deep colors. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you.